Boys and Girls Club, welcome back. My name is Shauna. My name is Shayna. And we are here to do our creation station. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. It's called puffy paint. So what puffy paint is, it actually makes a super, super cool artwork and it makes it look super puffy. So we are going to show you guys how to make your own puffy paint at home to do your artwork. First thing you're going to start off with, you will need shaving cream, and paint. That's it, that's all. So what you are going to do, you are going to take one of your cups. We're using uh, one-time use cups just so it's easier and we're not making messes in our parents' things. So you're gonna put an equal amount of shaving cream and glue inside the container. The shaving cream is gonna come out a little bit puffier. So you're gonna make it look like there's more, but try and put an equal amount if you put a little more or a little less, that's Ooh. fine too. There is no exact science to this, which is really cool. So now that we have the shaving cream and we have the paint, we are on to the paint. So you can choose whatever color you want for your paint. I'm going to pick green because um, it's my favorite color. That's teal blue. Shana's right. This is teal blue. Either way, it's my favorite color, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to pick a pretty tulip pink. Ooh. Next, you got to stir it. We're using uh, chopsticks or straws that we got for one time use because if you use normal utensils, it might stain them a little bit. So we're trying to make it as clean as possible to not upset our parents. So you're going to mix that it. would be bad. And it turns into this puffy, beautifulness of teal. we should draw today, Shayna? Pineapples. Pineapples. I like that idea. I think I might do cactuses. Yes. And so, the fun thing with this, guys, is you can make as many colors as you want because it's super simple. We already have teal, blue, and I got to make a green if I'm making cactuses. Got so. the pink. I'm going to make a yellow. If there's yellow paint, I think so. I'm going to do it anyway. I got some yellow right there. Yellow. have made our teals, our green, our blue, our yellow, and our pink. So now we are ready to make our own creations. Like I said, I'm making a cactus, so I'm going to take some green and I'm going to take some different colors to make my cactuses, and we will show you how it pops out. I'm just going to use my yellow right now and try and make myself a pineapple. You could use a pencil or a pen to trace if you wanted to. I mean, a pineapple is kind of just round, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do my best, guys. <laughs> Regardless, so, it's gonna be puffy. As you guys can see, the best thing to do, don't paint with it. Try and almost do like dabs on your paper. Because if you were to do the painting instead, you might not get as much shaving cream, so it won't be as puffy. But it'll still work. But we want the puff. Yeah. The puff is the best part. The puff is life. And I'm going to use some pink for my flowers because I want to put flowers in my cactuses. Holy moly. Come on now. I find the more you use, guys, the puffier and the higher the peaks are. So right now, mine kind of looks like an egg, but... That's okay. Mine also looks like a big puff ball, but it looks pretty cute and I like my cactuses. I'm gonna take some of the green to put the leaves on the top. Holy lord. This is a big sponge. 
We have a ton of different kinds. We have big sponges, we have blending brushes, we have little sponges, and we've also used some of the chopsticks to paint with as well. So anything you guys have around the house is a perfect thing to use. I like being creative and not going to the store to buy things, which is why the shaving cream and the glue I already had at home with the paint. So it's kind of perfect. And here is my pineapple, all puffy and wonderful. And here are my cactuses. So, like I said for this, all you guys need, you need shaving cream. Easiest thing to use is the white. You need your glue. You can get big ones at the dollar store. We just got a little guy because we weren't going to do too, too much. But if you want to have a field day with it, go big and go home. Absolutely. And then paint. You mix it all together and you get this awesome puffy paint that actually dries puffy as well. So these are our final products of our puffy paint. They will actually dry this way, which is really, really cool. And they'll dry puffy outside of the paper. You guys should try this because it's super, super fun and it's super easy to do. And yeah, so that's our activity for today. Hopefully everyone's having fun and it's beautiful weather outside. So I want you guys to get outside and have some fun if you can. Yes and we hope you're staying safe, having fun, doing what you guys can do with everything going on. If you guys end up doing the puffy paint, let us know and send us some videos on Boys and Girls Club because we love to see them. Other than that, have a good day, have a good week, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye guys. Bye.